Wow, amazing, it's like a little black fairy. But what is it? Oh my God. Wow. This is Bart Coppens, your favorite online entomologist. And today I happen to be holding a very rare and endangered species of stick insect. It's also known as Perufasma schulti, or the black beauty stick insect. And what makes this insect so special is not only is it endangered and threatened and endemic to a very, very, very small area in the country of Peru, it is also black with two beautiful red wings that it flashes whenever it's upset. Wow! Let me show you a close-up of it right now and tell you some facts about it, because this you have to see. This incredible insect, dear friends, is the Black Beauty Stick Insect, or Perufas Mashiltai. This beautiful stick insect has a black body, yellow eyes, and more interestingly, a bright red pair of wings that opens when it feels threatened in an attempt to scare away predators with a bright color. Because of their cute appearance and the fact that they are easy to raise, they are popular pets in captivity. But what's really fascinating about them is their ecology. Described somewhat recently in 2002, a paper titled Studies on Neotropical Phasma Todea, a remarkable new species of Peru Phasma by Conle and Henenemann from northern Peru, gives some insight to their biology. This remarkable new species appears to be restricted to a very small area in what is called the Cordilla del Condor in northern Peru. It lives at altitudes of 1200 to 1800 meters and is found in small patches of dwarf forest. The host plant is so far an unidentified, uh, un unidentified species of Schinus from the Anacardiaceae family, and the species appears to be strongly monophagous. During the day, these nocturnal phasmids hide in the leaf bases of big tilansias, which are bromeliads, which grow in the original habitat on vertical rock cliffs. Now keep in mind people, all this information is coming directly from the paper that was published when they were described. I'm not a YouTuber that likes to make things up. Everything I tell you about insects is verified. Most interestingly though is the fact this species is restricted to a very very small area. It is said the whole species is endemic to 5 hectares of land. If there are truly no other populations, which could remain to be verified, but so far they have not been found in beyond the small area where they were first discovered. That means that potentially the whole species is contained in an area smaller than 12 football fields. Now some of you may think 12 football fields is a lot of space, but it's ridiculously small, considering it presumably contains the whole species. This also makes the species incredibly vulnerable to extinction, since any tiny change or degradation of their habitat will massively impact a species contained on such a small surface area. That's right ladies and gentlemen, so it appears this species is endemic to only a very small area in Peru. So presumably the entire species is endemic to this tiny area I just told you about. Now you may be wondering, Bart, isn't it harmful to take such a rare animal from the wild into the pet trade, if it's so endangered and endemic to a small area? In theory, yes, but in practice, no. You see, these insects thrive in captivity, and the fact they are so easy to breed for beginners has resulted in thousands of breeders all over the world keeping them as pets. If the species somehow became endangered in the wild, these captive populations will ensure their survival. This is one of those rare cases where the insect trade ends up benefiting one of the species that is being raised in captivity instead of endangering it. Thank you guys for watching this short summary. There is much more I can tell you about these insects, but I'm trying to keep it on the shorter side today. If we reach 100 members on my Patreon account, 
I will make a special video showing the entire life cycle of this insect in captivity, from tiny egg to fully grown stick insect. That is going to be really special because I rarely film stick insect life cycles. My YouTube channel is completely demonetized by YouTube and if I film a video I don't make any money from it. I've produced over a thousand insect videos without profiting from these videos. Therefore I really need to rely on crowdfunding and donations. So perhaps this is a little bit of motivation. I see right now we have close to 100 members. So if only a few people join, we would reach the goal and I start making a stick insect life cycle. But it's not up to me to decide, of course. This is only for those who are willing and able and like my content. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.